What Remains from South Africa's Violent Past, Nadia Davids explores this question in her play. The performance begins with the discovery of a slave burial ground, where a luxury apartment block was set to be built. This is a story in 12 parts. Part one, on a stone, cool day in the east of a city by the sea, three sounds only. Terror. One. The faint sound of the song again, this time almost words. Um, it, it struck me that the discovery of this, or the uncovery of this burial site, um, and the collision between um, you know, capital with uh, the building of the um, with the luxury apartment block and heritage managers and archaeologists wanting to do a scientific examination of the bones and the alliance of community activists who wanted them to be understandably immediately reinterned um, and buried with appropriate burial rights. It struck me as that this kind of um, dramatic standoff between these different um, interested factions was a kind of a narrative for the country as well and the ways in which we can all look at one uh, sort of moment or instance and see very different things. People who had no justice in life must at least have some justice in death. I'm trying to give them that. Oh. No one knew about them before the bows turned up. The city didn't know. I knew. The people who lived next to the bows knew. Or we know it. That's not what I mean. Put the bones back. Just put them back. And. So I think the play taps into a certain kind of anxiety that we're all feeling and a, a sense of, um, you know, as the character says, a sense of foreboding, of terror, of, of what is to come. I find this story, this untaught story, this why didn't I know this story? Because I think South Africa in many ways is a place of tremendous unfinished business. Um, and this site, in some ways, exemplifies that um, and asks us to ask ourselves very serious questions about what does it mean to, um, to not adequately negotiate the past. The work at its deepest level is about disruption. Um, it's literally about something erupting to the surface, a bone being dislodged, and with that dislodging, the dislodging of what is it that we want from these bones? What do we want them to tell us? Do we want them to speak or do we want to grant them silence? What remains is told through four characters, the archaeologist, the healer, the dancer, and the student. The characters reimagine the emotions brought by the discovery of the bones and the tension between South Africa's violent past and its attempt to negotiate its future. Are they artifacts or are they ancestors? And under which conditions can they be both? This has been Yolanda Nzeke for QTube.